Reb Yitzhak Zilber was born in Kazan, a city in the Tatar Republic of East Central Russia. His father was the city's rabbi, despite the communist prohibition against the open practice of Judaism. Rabbi Yitzhak followed his father's example and taught Torah underground for many years. When the KGB finally caught up with him, Rabbi Yitzhak was imprisoned for several years in a Stalinist labor camp. In 1972, Rabbi Yitzhak Zilber was fortunate enough to make Aliyah to Eretz Yisrael after spending almost 20 years as a refuse maker. In Israel, Rabbi Yitzhak set out to bring Russian-speaking Jews back to Yiddishkeit. His activities were encouraged at that time by Havgon Rav Moshe Feinstein, Rav Yitzhak Hudner, and Rav Shlomo Zaman Orbach Zatzal. He continues to enjoy the unwavering support of Hagon Rav Yosef Shalom or Yashiv Shlita, and Rav Yitzhak's work is gaining great momentum. The majority of the Russian-speaking community's Torah leaders and Koyal Yundalait are counted today among Rav Yitzhak's devoted Talmudim. Tolos Yishurun is an organization which was established a few years ago through the initiative of Rav Yitzhak Zilber and the enthusiastic support of the Gdailim. Since its inception, Toldos Yishurun has unified dozens of Russian-speaking Koilu men and Marbitse Taira. They offer evening Taira classes and study one-on-one -on -one with Jews from the former Soviet Union. The lack of other opportunities for Russian-language Torah study in the leisure hours each evening, as well as the tremendous demand for it, are the secret to Toldos Yishurun's extraordinary success. From Haifa, northern Israel, to Netivot and Opakim in the south, Evening centers for Torah study have been established in over 20 cities. Over 250 teachers of Torah presently teach under the auspices of Toldos Yishurun. Hundreds and hundreds of new immigrants are returning. Not just from exile to the land of their fathers, but more importantly, they're returning to the heritage of their fathers. They're coming back to the Yiddishkeit that they were cut off from throughout the 70 long years of communist rule in Russia. Aside from the learning programs that make up the bulk of the organization's work, Toldos Yishuru is busy building other essential aspects of Jewish communal life. The activities include guidance and assistance in organizing bris milas, weddings, minyanim for Russian speakers, charity funds, free loan societies, registration of children in Torah schools, organizing a women's educational network, Russian language, Torah publications, and ultimately building viable communities for Russian-speaking Jews throughout the land of Israel. The annual gathering of Toldos Yishun's Torah leaders and activists took place this year during Hanukkah. It underscored the great significance of building a Torah community for Russian speakers and visibly demonstrated the tremendous momentum that this process has already achieved. Israel's most eminent Torah figures delivered heartfelt speeches in which they showered blessings and praise on Toldo Sishuru and its indispensable and dedicated work. Led by Harav Yitzhak Zilber, Toldo Sishuru has taken great steps in bringing Russian-speaking Jews back to Taira and Mitzvahs. The following are the remarks of Harav Hagom of Aaron Yudel Heidstein Shlita, who came to Yushalayim specially to participate in Toldo Sishuru's Hanukkah gathering. Thank <laughs> בעצם כל הדתות, אבל בעיקר הסתפקו מזה היהודים, כי זה היה נס גדול שאחרי זה חזרו בנים לקריב אורחו, אם היו כל כך רחוקים, כל עיר ישראל יש לנו נורא, שהיה כל אחד שלמד בימי פתוחת, למד אולי לא בימי מיוחדת. אם יש לי תלמידי שלי חבר'ה, או שלי שלו, 